Conquering fear. It's something that is still difficult even as an adult. But one group is not giving up and a local instructor is helping them. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick joins me now with more on this. Mia. Well, most people have a fear of something, flying, heights, spiders. It takes serious strength to face those fears head on. You can find that kind of strength poolside at the Miracle Swimming Institute. <laughs> a group of adults swimming in a pool may not look miraculous, but for this group, it is. When I've had other swimming lessons, uh, things have gone wrong, and I just you remember that, like the, the whole panic and splashing around in the water and trying not to drown. And it's my life dream to be able to swim. It's it's what I want. It's I don't want to achieve anything else. Fear has kept most of them at the water's edge. Goggles on or off. Mary Ellen Dash, or Mellon for short, has been teaching adults to conquer their fear of drowning for 27 years. For most of her students, this is not their first swim lesson. But if they're really afraid in water, they uh, won't succeed in lessons where only swimming mechanics are being taught. They need to learn how the water works. Monday, some of these students could not even get into this pool. I think there's an underlying claustrophobia, afraid of not being able to breathe, um, being locked in, not being able to get out. Um, and it just transfers to water mostly. Deep-seated fear was ingrained in their bodies. Pam Oakland was pushed under when she was nine years old. For 53 years, she's wanted to get back in a pool. My five-year-old granddaughter said, Grandma, come swim with me. And I told her, Bella, I don't know how it works. But finding success when you failed for so long isn't easy. Just getting all the way underwater is a milestone. Mellon helps her students relax, keeping each person comfortable while they explore the water. The biggest learning is how to be in control all the time. We call it being in your body. Because when people are panicking, they are bo their body's here and they're gone. <laughs> Somehow, she eliminates their doubts. And after day five, fear is sliding away to make way for triumph. Even the deep end is no longer off limits. And I had no expectations. I thought I was going to fail. So when you have no expectations and you end up succeeding, it's quite a pleasant surprise. The bottom line, you're never too old to conquer your fear. I think this is nothing short of yeah. a miracle for me. The six students in today's class came from all over, some from Portland, Salt Lake City, even Dubai. Some had read Mary Ellen's book called Conquering Your Fear of the Water, then signed up for the Miracle Swimming Institute. Now, if you want to learn more about that institute, you can go to the website on your screen, or you can call that number right there. Really a very interesting day out there, and for some of those people, there really were firsts today. Five days in, it was the first time one of those women went all the way under the water. It's the first time one man swam on his own in the deep end. So really, a, you can see it's a process. And I wonder whether it's also helpful just to be around other people who understand the same fears that you have and sort of feel a, a kinship there. That's one of the things that 62-year-old Pam there told me. She was afraid of ridicule. People, She would only sit in the kiddie pool with her granddaughter and people would ridicule her for not being able to get into a pool. So she felt very safe in this environment and not judged at all. Yeah, interesting. All right. Thanks, Mia. Okay, thanks.